that we're just going to create a stock what I've done is we've already roasted off our frame, so get a nice color to it, nice and golden, bring out all those fats and flavors that are left on the, the carcass itself. Got a little bit of our amaranth stem, some onion, a little bit of uh, bay leaves, garlic. We found some celery and carrot, which I know is 90% of your household's gonna have, and we're just gonna create that stock. So it's a base for a gravy, it's a base for you know a chicken and sweet corn soup, it's a base for anything that we wanna use to incorporate that very heavy chicken orientated flavor. So once again, just throwing the scraps in. We're not really wanting to make it look pretty. It doesn't need to look pretty. We're just breaking things down to extract flavors. If you're after a bit more of an intense flavor, you can roast all your vegetables off along with your carcass, and it'll just draw out some of that natural sugars that are in the vegetables as well. So we got the uh, amaranth stalk that we're gonna tuck in. Be careful about how much you do put in, as some herb stalks can have a lot of flavor to them that they're gonna draw out and then completely ruin. So from personal use, I know the amaranth is quite strong. So we're just gonna put a couple in there, just to add a little bit of that herbaceousness to it. Got a little bit of onion that we found in there. So from last week's staff meal, from one of the staff, we're just gonna roughly chop it up. We're not all about being fancy and fine here, some garlic, once again, bottom of the veg crisper, we have it in there. Don't worry about peeling it. Just put your knife on the side, give it a hit. So we're just gonna bruise it. So all those oils start to extract from the garlic. Into our pot, some fresh bay leaves. Some people are lucky enough to be in the uh, backyard, have a bay tree, grab a couple. If not, dried bay leaves are more than acceptable. Then just a small, probably half a teaspoon of peppercorns to go in there. And we have just our cold filtered water that we're pouring in. And then we're just straight over to our burners to create that stock. It's only gonna take anywhere between, I'd probably say something this small, an hour to two hours, depending on how strong you want that flavor. Once you do that, you then strain it. So through a little sieve at home with a mesh cloth uh, to get rid of some of the impurities, put it into a container, let it naturally cool on the bench for about an hour, an hour and a half before you put it into the freezer because you don't want to create some of that moisture that sits on the leg because that's going to create that condensation, create bacteria growth and our shelf life on it is going to be reduced. Put it in the freezer, six to eight months, you want to use it, get it all sorted. Coming into winter, it's going to be a perfect time for your chicken concept. So here we have a little bit of a finished product with using our chickens. Just to run through a little bit what we do have. So we have some green beans that have just found in the bottom of the fridge that need to be used up. So pan seed, a little bit of vinegar, salt, very, very simple. Any green veg, let's get some, a little bit of uh, green into our diet. I've used the chicken thigh. Once again, going back to my favorite part, we've got nice golden color on that skin by cooking our skin side down, seasoned the flesh let it rest out for you two to three minutes as well. Then we've created what we call a tare. So a tare, we've used the chicken stock that we made earlier. We've cooked off all our onions, garlic, leeks, spring onions that we do have in the fridge, just over a fire or on your barbecue, and then infused it in our chicken stock, finished with a little bit of mirin, a little bit of sake, and some soy sauce. We've got our herb sauce, so underneath you will see that we've used our herb sauce. Then we had our sorrel, a little bit of the amaranth as well, garlic and lemon. And then on top we have a chicken cracker. So once again, we're back to our chicken stock, which we've made, we've cooked out the tapioca pearls, dehydrated that, and then we've deep fried it to give us that nice little texture to our meal. And something so simple that we have access to quite, you know, a lot of the time, or majority of the time, we've made a little, little meal out of just 